Now for something that I think has been merged and merged beautifully. I've always loved the idea of cars and technology, almost synonymous, right? But now, epically is what I'm going to prove it, a connected car. So take an operating system, take a really good processor, put it all into a car, and this is what you get. QNX, the Snapdragon processor, and all of this happening in a Mercedes with Qualcomm. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. I mean, first and foremost, as we get into the car, you'll see maybe one of the best displays ever. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, so I'm going to get a nice demo about this entire thing from you. Yeah. And uh, then can we take the car home after that? No. <laughs> Although <laughs> All you're right. doing me a favor. <laughs> so I don't take the car home, but I will show you what you could do if you get what a car like this at home. Before Rajiv drives away with this beauty, let's take a quick glimpse at the QNX system within the Merc and the infotainment unit. The view from the cameras at the back of the car are stitched together for a better view. The QNX system connects to your phone and to the internet using the latest multi-mode LTE chipset. This allows for enhanced 3D navigation, multimedia streaming and downloads. Enter the media zone and scroll through a list of songs and select your favourite. There is the car menu which acts as a virtual mechanic, roll down windows, lock or unlock the car and send alerts in case of any trouble. The connected phone also has a similar menu and acts as a remote and even a car locator. And while this is based on QNX, here's a look at a second in-car system powered by Android that also does some pretty amazing things. The powerful Qualcomm processor runs two displays simultaneously. The screen on the left displays the front seat view, while the right side screen shows the display for passengers seated at the back. The interface is very smooth and responsive and very, very fluid. There are three cameras at the back of the car. The processor stitches together the displays of all three in real time to give a 160 degree panorama view. An interesting lane detection app is useful to see upcoming turns and object detection. The power of the processor allows you to use 3D navigation on the front seat while simultaneously play high quality console games on the rear screen. Alright, so that's what happens when you get an incredible processor, an incredible operating system into an incredible car like this. But something similar happening with Suganda. What car is she with right now? Well, Rajvi, while that was some brilliant technology, this is some awesome stuff. This is the Ford Automated Research Vehicle. And what you see on the roof of the car are 360-degree LiDAR sensors that actually have cameras on them. So you can actually see what the car sees. Some really brilliant technology, a very quick demo coming up. While driving a car, have you ever wondered what your car sees? Ford's automated research hybrid has four spinning eyes that fire infrared light as they rotate and produce a 360-degree picture of the car's surroundings. They can spot hazards up to 60 meters. This could actually be one of those developments that in the near future could actually lead to automated driving. Now, how about running your imagination a little more wild? Ever thought of how your car sees you? We got a chance to do just that using similar LiDAR sensors. The result? My own face in 3D. Pretty cool, huh? Ford also showcased an uber cool in-car system with an 8-inch screen in the car. Now, this may not seem very revolutionary, but this is what sets it apart. Voice control. Just say a command and the system can not only understand you, but process it in such a way that it gets you immediate assistance. It can guide you to your favorite restaurant. How about Tandoori restaurant? It can play the song you really like. Play Bang Bang. Play the song Bang Bang. It can set the AC temperature to what you're comfortable in. Temperature 18 degrees. Setting temperature to 18 degrees. And of course, it can make calls. Please say a command. Call Truby. With this system in your car, you are really never driving alone.